Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the Itali GTO. So without any further ado, we are going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes, we're going to purchase the race brakes. And then for the bumper, front bumpers. So we've got loads of options for the front bumpers. And hopefully, we can alter the front of this quite dramatically. So, you know, it actually looks different from the stock version because, as you can see, these first few don't really give you much but then we move on to things like this the primary splitter it is changed it somewhat it does look a little bit nicer than the stock version of it but nothing stand out crazy nothing to write home about so none of them are overly impressive but because you know the, the standard splitters that we've got there already are carbon i think i'm going to go with a carbon splitter so it extends it and it because i think if it's a different color it kind of looks a little bit strange and i think if you uh, make the splitter carbon like this it does flow a lot nicer so we're gonna go with a carbon splitter for the front bumper and then for the rear bumper what we got so we've got <laughs> different colored diffusers oh that one does change shape a little bit uh, nothing to write home about again uh, unfortunately and to be fair i think these ones look nicer and i think the primary diffuser actually looks really cool so we're gonna go with that bad boy then we're gonna move on to the engine we're gonna go to the engine block to start and hmm, is it in the rear? Why is the hood not opening? That sucks, man. That sucks. But we're going to grab the carbon engine block anyways. Then we're going to go to the engine tunes. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. So if we have a look at the exhaust, the stock ones look pretty cool anyways. Then we've got the square ones. They look a lot nicer, to be fair. Um, the rounded bores are okay as well. So none of these are outstanding, but none of them are terrible either. Uh, I say terrible, that's awful. I don't really, really dislike that. Um, that one looks pretty cool, though. The, the, the quad square bore actually looks really good. Very different. I thought I'm going to go with that one. Why the fuck not? And as you can see in here, <laughs> I was holding down the accelerator so we could see them exhausts. Uh, then we've got the hood catchers. We've got the modern, the primary, and the secondary. Um, I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the primary race latches. I think they look better than the modern ones. Let's put it that way. Next, we're going to move on to the hood. Loads of options for the for the hood. We've got like 11 different options for this. So we can remove the vents. I'm, I'm actually feeling that. It looks quite nice. Uh, and then we've got the secondary vent remove. Right, okay. So if we change the secondary color, obviously that's going to change the hood, hood color. Uh, we've got a carbon. I really like them. The sports vents look really good. Uh, the race setup hood looks awesome as well. Wow, I like that. The vanity hood. And then you can see the carbon engine block there. The competition hood, competition carbon. Uh, so there's some really nice options actually for the hood, which is quite surprising considering the lack of customization so far. I mean, the front bumper, the rear bumper have been a bit of a, I don't know, a wet fish. <laughs> bit of a wet fish. Yeah, it's been a bit of a wet fish for the front and the rear bumper. Uh, nothing to write home about. But then we move on to the hoods and... Uh, the hoods, are, like I said, are quite impressive. There's some nice options to be had. But I think I'm going to go with the sports vents because, like I said, I think they look the nicest. Then we're going to go move to the lights, go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And we do get a livery option for this car. So we've got the classic race stripes. Yeah, not a fan, not a fan. Um, I don't think I'm going to be digging any of these liveries because I really dislike heavily sponsored race liveries. I know they're not heavily sponsored, these ones, but... They just look weird. Oh my god, why would you have that? Man, it looks like someone scribbled all over your car. That looks awful. That looks bad too. I mean, I, I understand that a lot of people do like these type of things, but for a car like this, I mean, you'd expect it to be luxury. You know, maybe a street racer might have a racing stripe, you know, at the, at the most, but yeah i'm not really a fan of these sorts of things so i'm going to skip past the liveries then we're going to go to the mirrors so we've got the primary mirrors the secondary and the carbon alternate i like them i like the carbon alternate they look really nice a little bit more slimline so we're going to go with them bad boys so then we're going to go to the respray primary color we're going to go metallic yeah man i think i'm actually going to go with uh frost white metallic for the primary now i'm going to go to the secondary color i'm also going to go to metallic and I think I'm going to go with the frost white again. Then we're going to go on the inside for the trim color. Uh, so as you can see, it is Torino red at the moment. I am going to keep it red. But if it's going to be Torino red, because Torino red is quite bright. 
So I might just go with the standard red. So it's a little bit darker. But I think it looks a little bit nicer. Because if we flick between these two, you can see the Tarina red kind of looks a little bit orange. Or even the, the Grace red looks nice. It's more of like a burgundy. Yeah, I'm going to go with Grace red for the interior. So next we've got a roof option. So we've got the primary roof, the carbon roof. Oh, nice. Then we've got the secondary sports. Same with the carbon. The vents, you don't need any more vents. But the roof scoop. I actually like that, man. Loving the roof scoop. Hell yeah, man. Let's go over the roof scoop. Then we're going to move on to the side skirts. So we've got the primary skirt. Secondary. The primary alternate. What does that actually change? It give a little bit extra underneath. Not really sure. But you can see it's changing something, but I can't put my finger on exactly what it is. I think it's adding a little bit onto the bottom. It just looks like it's adding a little bit of shadow more than anything, but there's obviously something going there. So I'm just going to stay stock for the skirts. Then we're going to move to the spoilers. So at the minute, it looks awesome with none. And it does give you a traction increase. So if you're going to use it for races, I highly suggest you purchase a spoiler. This one... At the moment, I know it's the first one on it, but it looks like it's going to be one of the best ones to purchase, especially if you prefer the non-spoiler look because it doesn't really stand out too much. And like I said, it gives you that traction increase. So if you are going to be using it for races and you, you are going to need to have a spoiler, um, but you don't like the spoiler look, you like the spoilerless look a little bit better, I'd go with the discreet one because obviously, like I said, it clues in the title. It doesn't really stand out too much, so it's quite nice. Uh, then we've got these weird things. I think they just look stupid and out of place and they shouldn't really be an option for this car. Um, yeah, so that's that's my take on it. So I won't be using any of these. Um, I do like the discrete spoiler and I do want that traction increase. So I'll be purchasing that. Then we're going to go to the suspension. I am obviously going to get the race suspension. Then we've got the transmission. I'm going to get the super transmission and turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, guys, I am going to be going into the wheel type uh, the sports category and we are going to be purchasing I'm not really sure what I'm going to be purchasing the actual stock wheels for this aren't that great nothing to write home about which is unfortunate um, because usually Rockstar gives you some very unique wheels especially with their newer vehicles and they're actually really nice uh, but these ones are pretty pretty poor so we are going to be purchasing some, purchasing some new ones and maybe something like that the Endo V2 I think they actually look really nice with this car um, funnily enough because it is I don't know it. I think I just think they f they fit really nicely so oh yeah fuck it why not let's go with the Endo V2s but I am not going to be keeping them white I am going to be changing the colour um, not to red I don't think no that looks odd that looks weird as fuck we're going to go carbon black and to finish off the build as always we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so you go my bros there is my build on the brand new grotty Itali GTO and if I do say, my, say so myself, this is a very, very pretty looking car. It's, um, you know, I think it's alright. It's The customizations on it is alright. It's nothing spectacular. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really look that different to when I took it in there. In regards to, obviously, customization and stuff like that. Um, but you can see <laughs> from the video, this is very, very fast. That is ridiculously quick. And like I said in previous videos, these new cars which have come with the most recent update, um, the Arena Wars update that is, they all have super transmission that I've noticed at the cars that I've customised anyway. And we don't get that with any other cars from any other DLC. It only goes up to like the race transmission. And maybe that's the reason why, oh my god, it is fucking bouncy. Holy crap. That's That's not good. You can see it just wants to bounce all over the place. But, I mean, look at that. Look how bouncy that is. It's one little bump in the road and it just wants to throw you. Yeah, that's not good. That, whoa, that is not good, man. Especially for a car that's this fast as well. Um, right, so if we just sum this up real quick, it is very, very fast. The acceleration on it is nuts. But that handling is really bad. This is going to struggle in races, man. Especially, I don't know if that's a bug or whether this is intentional from Rockstar. But that handling file, that is ridiculous. See how much that's bouncing. It's really hard to keep in a straight line. Especially when you're going quick. 
it's just jumping up in the air and then just throwing you off. And it's, the brakes are really shit as well. It's like you've got fucking biscuits for disc brakes. It is awful. Um, right, so, yeah, quick sum up. Like I said, it's really quick. You know, really quick in a straight line. Uh, the customizations are subpar. They're not great. But it is a beautiful car. A very nice looking car. It sounds awesome. It looks awesome. It's very, very quick. Um, but that handling is something that's going to put me off. Look at that. What the hell is that? It just nearly turned in the air. I weren't even going quick then. Yeah, this is. if this is a bug, it's going to be fixed. It's got to be fixed. If it's not, if this is actually the file that that's going to stay with this car... The handling file is going to stay with this car. I would stay away from this. I'd I'd avoid this like the plague, man, because it's not going to be good for anything. Not even driving around the streets of LS, man, because look, shit is slowing down. I mean, I got there in the end, but the handling is awful. I mean, look, look, look at that. I'm 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 hardly even touching the directions, and it's spinning me out. It's jumping me up in the air and spinning me out. Ah, oh, no, what a disappointment. What a disappointing car. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Because this had a lot of promise. I was looking forward to um, to trying this out. Especially the way it looked. Because it looks amazing. And it is very fast. But you can't even go in a straight line without it fucking losing control. Because you hit the slightest little bump in the road. Slightest little pothole. A slightest little dip. Look. 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 Look at that. I'm not even pressing. Oh, the only thing I was pressing then was the acceleration. You can see how that back was jumping up. That is insane. Oh yeah, avoid this car, guys. I wouldn't purchase it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't waste my money on it. Really wouldn't. Unfortunate. Very. I think Rockstar. They need to either fix this as an issue because it is an issue, um, or you guys just don't buy it <laughs> because it's going to be a waste of money. It's undrivable. You can't. You can't drive it to its full potential. Like in speed terms, because oh, I know I keep going. Look at that! Why is it jumping up like that? Oh, I'm <laughs> I'm done with this video, man. <laughs> that's it. I, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm I'm so confused and a little bit annoyed that this car is so bad at handling. So I'm going to end the video right there. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button if you haven't already. Want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA videos like this. And until next time, guys. I'm out. Adios. Thank you.